Hello, dear friends! It's Creative Day from the site f3dstudio.com. In this video tutorial, we'll create a car in the Cinema 4D program. It's going to be a low poly car, and it means that we are going to do it really fast. So, let's get started. We are creating a cube object with parameters about 40 on the Y. It means that it's going to be narrow. 150 on the Z, it mustn't be too wide. And here let it be 300. Also segments we will divide into three parts. That means the first part is bumper, then the roof and the bumper again. Also we are going to have headlights, one light, two, and here is the radiator grid. So, we will add also this line by which we could change these parts. It's going to be a little bit flatted. Now we are converting it all into poly condition. Let us convert into primitive or C command. Done. Go to Poly Settings, choose the Selection tool, mark out these three polygons, the centrals. The right mouse button extrude inner. Let's extrude 10 cm, press Apply. Choose Extrude and Stretch Up. This provision we will establish with the command Y position 160. Even too much. Let it be 140. Choose point edit. Mark out these points on both sides. Choose size tool. Scale and pull the blue slider. Not much. Something like this to make such a small triangle. The smoothing turned out not nice. It marks out with this tag. The smoothing tag. It needs to be deleted. Mark also these points. If you mark out too much, press Ctrl and mark out the point you don't need. Or use Shift to add the point. Using the scale, we marked it all out with the way. Now it's all proportionately. That's why we need to pull this part forward a little bit more. This way. Mark out the back part. and pull it closer to our back window. The front part will pull forward. Let's mark also these two side points with a scale tool. Again, we pull the blue slider and little bit extrude inner. Good. So now we need to go again to Polygons Edit, mark out the first windshield, the left windshield, the right one, and the windshield in the back. We do it all with the shift clamped. The right mouse button, extrude inner, and pull about 6, 6, let it be 6. Press Apply, choose Extrude. about 4-5 centimeters. Let's create a new material. Let's name it as it is. Put it right to our marked out polygons. Select polygon and the texture. 
mark out these parts, both sides, to make it symmetric. Extrude inner, also 5-6 cm, let it be 5. Apply, extrude nearly 2-3-4 three, three, cm. Extrude inner, 2 cm. And extrude up. Now we need to mark these parts. The front in the back separately. For this I will choose select and loop selection. So that the marking will be going circularly. The marking tool and mark these parts. Let's create a new material and apply to them. Let's do the same with tail lights. I will choose the previous loop selection. One more material and apply it also to tail lights. Then we need to mark out these two polygons, extrude, pull them a little bit up. If you dislike something, you can change their position anytime, as you like. It'll be this way. Point edit mark, these four top points, and press it lower, but not too much, not to have the kind of nonsense. Like this. Also mark four points here and four points on this side. Pull them closer. Choose the polygon edit. Mark this part. Right mouse button, extrude inner. No matter in what way you will do this, the most important is to make it inner. Choose scale and make such a radiator grid. Extrude inner nearly 2 cm, extrude and inside. We can do 4 cm here. Extrude inner and again with the scale tool we align it on this face and make extrude now in this part. We can do it uh, this narrow with scale also. Then with the marking tool we mark the whole inner part. Use one more material, create new material or double click, reset marking mark these polygons and we'll apply the same material to them. Then we have to mark this polygon and the same one on the other side. Again extrude inner, scale and with the position we move it under our handle and extrude. Choose from the used commons loop selection and mark our handles and applicated the third material to them. We need to create a wheel. For that we are going to use the cylinder object. Orientation Z plus Z minus doesn't matter, but only Z. Height set on 5, radius set on 30. Let's try. 
Well, yes, it fits. Good. There are going to be 12 cyclic segments. Such an optional option. We can do it even 10. Turn it all to primitive. Polygon edit again. Mark the top cover. Choose an object edit. And a little bit up. And also with shift clamped. Mark the back cover. Choose bevel. And make it 10. Now extrude inner nearly 2 or 3 centimeters. Let it be 3. Extrude. Extrude inner and extrude again. Such a will. Then loop selection and mark these cyclic parts on both sides. For them we use third material again. Remove the smoothing tag, we don't need it. Create a new material and apply it to the whole cylinder. We need to move it into beginning before all textures. We can do it simply by pulling it to our cylinder. When we will color in textures, we will notice that it colors only those parts which are not connected to our polygons. Choose a symmetry object, cylinder, and we can see that we have two objects. Choose the front view, Choose Cylinder, Object, and move it this way. Now it's relatively to the main axis, but we'll move it a little, like this. And we'll put into such position. Closer to the car, respectively. Then choose one more symmetry object. And choose XY. Now they are symmetrically displayed. Move everything finally and make it look nice. Not a beka. So let's start from the beginning. Let's change the color. See what is going to change. The windshield is, so it's going to be the white texture. The name is Windows. Take the next texture. Change the its headlights. So let it be yellow. The next material we change to red. The third material is aluminium. It's going to be such a grey material. This material lies on our wheels. It's a dark material. Let's create one more material. It's going to be the car color. Let's make it blue. Open any of materials. Mark this way. And pull and mark all of our materials. Choose specular. That is with glass. Apply our material to the cube. Now it's full colored, because the texture is in the end, and we move it to the beginning. So, now the one car modeling is completed. The animation will be continued the next lesson.